Hey homeschool friends, welcome to the video. So in today's video, I am going to be chatting a bit about our homeschool library. Like how do we build it? How do I manage it? How do I organize it? Because we are a literature based homeschool family. I love books. I love books personally. I love sharing books with my kids. I love collecting books for my kids and myself. And so books are just a huge part of my life and our home, but they need to be organized and managed a lot of the time especially when it comes to school books. So in today's video, we're going to be doing that. I'm gonna chat a bit about how I organize, like what are my strategies? Where do I put certain types of books? Because we have a lot of early readers. We have a lot of early chapter books because my kids are still nine, seven, five, and five. So we are on the younger side, but I do have a lot of books. And honestly, we're just gonna keep adding books. Like I said, we are literature based, primarily sunlight and I love sunlight curriculum. So enough of an intro, let's just hop in to the organizing and chatting about books for homeschool. Hey everybody, so my name's Angie. Welcome to the channel if you're new here or welcome back if you've been coming for a while. So I brought you guys a little closer to my bookcase and I'm gonna chat a bit about how I organize it. So basically I have two bookcases here in the corner of our schoolroom. So that's the first thing that is important to note about my setup is this is very much within our main homeschooling space. And so I know some people don't have a homeschool room and they will often have bookcases in different parts of their house and places more for maybe storing their books. That's not my current philosophy because I still have the space. And so I tend to keep all of the books all of the school books on these two shelves. And I'm totally open to buying more bookcases. We are very fortunate to have a wonderful school room that's just off of our kitchen, which I can link our latest homeschool room tour if you're kind of curious about our space. I got these this past summer, but you know how when you first get something, you just kind of set it up and it needs some organizing. So I'm gonna be doing that with you today. And as I go, I'm gonna share with you my thoughts about how I'm doing this, why I am organizing in the way I'm organizing. So I hope this is useful to you, especially if you use Sunlight or if you use a literature based homeschool program, because you're going to have a lot of books and we have a lot of books, which I love. So let's get into it. So I think what I'm first going to do is just show you what I have. I'm going to show you a bit of the mess and then I'll start organizing. So I will go fairly quickly so you don't focus too much on the mess. But then I will end the video with a beautiful pan of how it all turned out as well. So you can see on this bookcase, I have a lot of the early readers and chapter books at the bottom, a lot of the sunlight stuff going up, sunlight up there. Here's my middle shelf, which is really important to me where I have all of just the kind of day-to-day -day stuff like math and things like that. And then some extra resource books, preschool, more chapter books, and then this pile. This is really what has inspired this whole video, you guys, as I moved all of these picture books. So I need to find a spot for them. So you can see I have a decent amount of space still left on my shelves. They're not too jam packed, so I can organize them better. So I will do that and take you with me and I'll probably just speed up the video a ton and just stop it to chat when I have something to say. Okay guys, I'm not quite so sure about this angle, but we're just gonna go with it. And so I'm down here at the bottom, um, which needs the most work, like I was saying, all the picture books, but also all of these books that are for my kids. So here is something that I do when I organize is I think about what my kids can get to. So like you saw, I have some really large bookcases. They're pretty tall. So my kids don't really access the stuff on the top as much as they do down here. And so this is where I keep all of the stuff I want them to be able to get to. A lot of it is kind of early chapter books, early readers. And it's just really fun to see them come over here and pick up books. The other thing I tend to do is I tend to keep out the readers from the previous programs we've done, which in this case is a lot of sunlight. Like I said, a lot of the sunlight language arts, like my son has gone through, but my daughter hasn't, but I keep it out and he sometimes will just pick it up or they'll pick up some previous read alouds. So for now, I keep everything out. I know some sunlighters will just like package it back up and that way they don't lose books, which I can appreciate that but I just love books so much that if some go missing, I'll just repurchase. It's not that big of a deal. I'd rather have the books out for just a life of reading than to kind of store them away. So I'm gonna work on this section first, and then I'm gonna move up to organizing more of the stuff for me. A 
Another thing I realize I am doing is I am kind of sorting the picture books into books like this that we've collected over the years. I'll probably put these in my twins' bedrooms as well as piles of books that are maybe more resource picture books or just picture books that are just more classic that I would just like to keep in the schoolroom that are a little bit more important to me. Even as my kids get a little bit older is I'd like to keep these in the schoolroom. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody else. All right, so the other thing I'm going to do is, this is the books from the Sunlight 3-4 program, I think it is called T, and we just finished it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the books I love out of this stack and I'm gonna keep it on our shelves. And then if I, there's some books I just, they're fine, I'll probably just donate them because I've already decided that I am not gonna sell the old HBLs. I just don't wanna part with all the books. They already have a lot of memories for my family and so I'm already planning on keeping them. So I'm gonna do that next. Okay guys, so I already feel so much more organized and I didn't show you all of those clips just because that could be a bit boring, but what I have done so far is I consolidated my sunlight shelf. All right, so what I have here is I have on this side, I have all of my HBLB and Science B. So these are for my bigger kids, for my third grader and my second grader. So this is just the HBL and the Science and then the readers are up here in each of their little bins is where I actually keep the sunlight readers that we need for the year. And I just keep the one that we need next is kind of up front and then I rotate them to the back when we're finished with them. These two shelves, which are my shelves. So this is a big thing for me when I'm setting up the bookshelf is I need functionality. I need it to really work for me as I am kind of working with the kids in this room. Like we're doing different things. I need to be able to pull off the teacher's guide for math. I need to be able to grab the books for sunlight when we're transitioning into history or whatever it is, like it is all kind of right here. So I'm taking you up a bit. And so what I love is these top two shelves up here. That's where I keep my sunlight for the next couple years. And so what's nice about that is I have HBLK and HBLA up there ready for my twins. And then I'll kind of rotate B up there. I have some space for when I pick up HBLC shortly. So all of that content will be coming here in the early spring but you can see how I keep it all on my shelves. So now that's all moved over and I have this whole shelf, like I said, that's just sunlight, my big kids. And then I moved my preschoolers over here because we are moving them into the 5-4 program, which just has more books. It's 36 weeks, it's four days a week. It looks like a really fun program and I'm super excited to get them started. So I have all the sunlight here, which I just, I love. It makes it very easy to grab what I need when I need it. And then I have my instructor's guides in my binders right here. So it makes planning very easy because I do use more of a working binder or planner. I can link a video above as to exactly how I do that. But this is kind of where it's stored. It's out of the way, but it's still accessible. It's not like downstairs in a closet or anything like that. It's on my shelf. So I'm gonna start putting some books on these bottom shelves just ahead of me where I was just working and down here where I have a lot of the early readers. I'm going to kind of get these set up so my kids can look at what they want. And what I love about that is a lot of these old books, like say this was a part of the Sunlight 3-4 program. I'm gonna put this on the shelves because my twins really loved it. And my big kids like to look at some of these books as well. And so they'll just be on the shelves for everybody to look at. All right, guys, so I just organized all of the like early chapter books, read alouds, all the books I've been collecting for years and I love it. And my system now is that down here on this whole row is more of like the fantasy type books. So I have Percy Jackson here only because my little sister gave it to us. She knew my kids would really like that eventually. And so it's more kind of holding a spot because I know my kids will like that. And then we have some other favorites in there like Tuesdays at the Castle, 
Artemis Fowl, all of the Narnia books, things kind of through there. And then here, what I have is a lot of kind of classic older books. And some of them my kids just really love already. We've done a lot of them as read alouds. We have options to read them out loud. And otherwise I just wanted them on my shelves in case my kids wanted them. And then up here, I ended up with all of those picture books that I just sorted intermixed to some of those old sunlight books. And then I ended over here with my Anne of Green Gables collection. So we have three main shelves here. I also found a number of books that are just above my kids level. They could potentially be read alouds if I choose to make them read alouds, but I feel like I picked a majority of these up last year from the Sunlight Summer Reader catalog. I just, I just trust Sunlight's judgment on read alouds and there's so many books out there and it's just so hard to pre-read. So I don't mind the fact that I kind of picked some up for later. Like I think these were the middle school ones. So they're gonna go up high. I'll show you that in just a second. But I was able to pull off a lot of those. And then what I have here is the early readers that didn't really change. We have some of the I Survive books that my son really likes. And then down here we have a lot of the mysteries and then, I don't know, contemporary type books. It's really funny because I have found out that what I have picked up for my kids is a lot of the genres that I love. I love fantasy, I love mystery. So it's just kind of fun. It's fun to realize that I'm doing that. I didn't quite realize I was doing that. But now we have all of these shelves put together. They look so much better. I'm gonna finish out a couple of the shelves up top where I put up some of the more resource type books. And then I'll share that with you and then close out the video. So I was able to finish these top shelves. So on this side, it has some old HBLs, like I said. I have HBLK and HBLA for my twins. You can actually see that I have some space here. I think I'm gonna consolidate these once I make the order for HBLC and all of that. Then I'll have to have a place to put it all, and I'll put it up there. Sorry, I'm standing on my tiptoes. And then on this side are all my reference books, as well as some middle grade that I showed you earlier that my kids are just not ready for, so they're up here until they are ready. So yeah, you guys, it is all done. I am so glad. It was just kind of a mess. I just didn't love it. I will pan over everything one last time to show you how it ended up. But I love having a bookcase in our schoolroom. I mean, I love using literature to teach schools, so I had to have a way to organize it. And this really works for me. At some point, I might be able to take off some of these more school-related like teacher manuals if I need the space for just straight books. But at this point in time, it's kind of at my level, it's very accessible. I'm gonna use those shelves that way. But I love that I can still grow into it, that I still have space to add many more levels of sunlight or whatever I end up using, most likely sunlight. But that is how it turned out. And I would love to know from you guys, do you guys have bookshelves in your schoolroom, in your house? How do you organize books? Do you keep them out for your kids? Do you put them away to save them for younger kids? If you are a lit-based homeschooler, let me know all the things. I love talking about books, especially organizing them. I feel like I'll look at my bookshelves and often want to reorganize them. So it's nice to have it done. And so I think, yep, I think that's it. I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. And I'll see you in the next homeschool video. And stay tuned for the pan through my final setup for the bookcases. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.